Hi, this is Stacy with Yellow Cottage Soapery, and I am back to make a man fragrance. I think it's the dupe for uh, Abercrombie & Fitch's Fierce. So I've already got my additives in. I'm just going to get started and pour my Eli solution in. I have in mind I want to do a leopard spot. I've done one before, but it was a long time ago. So I'm going to try to do that, and I'm going to do it in blue tones. So I want my base color to be a really light blue color. And then I'm going to do the little spots with two other, two other different shades of blue. That's the plan anyway. This fragrance I read does accelerate a little bit. I'm hoping not too much. Now I don't need very much of either one of these colors. I always over pour for those. So I do need a tiny bit more for the lighter color. Okay. Now I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this blue. Which blue is it? It's Crafter's Choice and my label's missing. But it's um, a really royal blue. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of titanium dioxide because this is the base. I'm going for a light blue. I want it to be like a pretty pink. That's pretty much what I have in mind. Hmm. Let me get the other blues mixed up and I'll see. I might want to just darken that a tad. Now this is going to be the outline, so I want this to be the darkest blue. Pretty. I might as well just put the rest. There's not much in here. I know it's making a mess on my table though. Let me get a paper towel. Me and these oxides, we don't get along. up a little bit of that same oxide with a little bit of it looks just as dark I know hopefully it's not this is neon blue raspberry from brambleberry <laughs> So there's my three blues. I'm 
let me just make sure the camera that you can see. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. I always walk by Abercrombie in the mall and I'm like, ugh, because it's so strong. I think they spray it in their vents or something. It's like if I go in there with my daughter, we can't stay very long because it gives me a headache. But um, this does smell really nice. I guess anything in moderation is good, can be good. I'm using my smaller mold again tonight. just a tiny bit more only because I do not want this to have any kind of a grayish tint to it and it kind of looks like it has a tiny bit of a grayish tint so and this doesn't have any vanilla in it so hopefully we'll have no discoloration but boy this smells nice okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is pour these into So you, hopefully you can see better this way. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get this out. Okay, this is going to be... Now this is going to be thicker. And then we'll go back over it with the light blue. Or sorry, the dark blue. Hopefully I just didn't cut that too big. I'm kind of doing this so that hopefully it doesn't flatten out the design. At the, fir the first time I did it, I found that when I just kind of poured it over, it kind of flattened out my design.
guys. Um, I just wanted to show you what the leopard spot soap looked like. I just was going to upload it and realized I accidentally deleted the cutting video. Um, this is what it turned out like. And I knew when I smacked it down that it would flatten these a little bit. So I'm not, I'm not sure how to do that without getting, you know, getting it flat to go flat, but um, they smell really good. Overall, I'm happy. I think it's maybe the color choice that I don't love. Uh, I should have maybe stuck with the browns that I was going to do, but um, I guess that's what a leopard spot looks like. I don't know. It was fun. It was a fun technique to try. I would recommend trying it, and I probably will do it again, maybe just with a different color choice. But I wanted to show you guys what that looked like, and I'll catch you on the next video.